Welcome back to Professor Groves Horn. I am Coach Groves, and we are here today without Coach Horn, but I know he is doing some great things in his class right now. Uh, we're continuing our showcase from the monotheism unit of study that we did, and three of these students came from Coach Horn's class. We have Cecilia, Caroline, and Mia, and Rachel belongs to me. Hope you guys enjoy. This is awesome. This is speed dating at its finest. Let's go. So, today we have Judaism and Islam. And I will be asking them questions. And I will see what my, I want my religion to be. And this is called speed dating. Okay, so the first question is, give me your best pickup line. Are you the Messiah? Because you're the one that I've been waiting for. Islam. Our parents engaged us when we were little. They must have forgotten to tell you. Oh. Second question is, why is your religion the best? We believe in a God that will come and save us from our problems. Islam. We only have to follow the five pillars to get to heaven. Good facts. Good facts. Okay, last question. Are there any common mistakes people make of your religion? Some common mistakes that people make of our religion are only the Jewish boys wear the little hat and they're called capulias. Only the boys wear them. Judaism is not to be confused with Christian because we are not the same thing. <laughs> Some people think that we worship Muhammad, but he's only a prophet. That's an example of how to be a good Muslim. And some people also think that all Muslims live in the Middle East, but only a few of us do. Muslim, Muslim, Muslim. Now we will have Christianity and Muslim. Oh. The next question is, why do you think most people in your religion is that religion? Christianity? I think most Christians are Christians because they were born into the religion or they had something happen to them that made them believe that Jesus was their savior and that God is real. So, yeah. <clears throat> Islam, what is your answer? Most Muslims are born into the religion and they grow up being taught that it's the right religion. The next question is, what positive things come from your religion? Um, a bunch of churches have charities for homeless and poor people and like refuge shelters and stuff. And we teach people how to get to heaven and that's where they go if they follow Jesus. So, yeah. Islam? We teach people how to get into heaven by following the five pillars. Okay, so this next question and the final question is, what negative things come from your religion? There's a bunch of people that think just because they're Christians that they're better than everyone and they're really judgy. And this isn't all Christians, but there's a few. And they're like, oh, you're not Christian, so we don't accept you or we're not friends with you. Or like, you're sinning, so... We're just, you're a bad person right off the bat when them themselves are sinning. There's no answer. There's <laughs> no answer. What negative things come from your religion? Although only a few of us are Bible, Bible, there is a terrorist group that came from Islam called ISIS. Okay, so now we will have Judaism and Christianity. <laughs> Okay, Cecilia? So, so. Hold on. Stop texting. Get off. It's a whole lot. Okay, next question. How do you people get us mixed up? What a fight! At least when I said we already came. Go up, go up, go up. Triangle up, bro. You got a triangle up and a triangle down. Things are daily trash. <laughs> the next question is, what do you think other religions are like? Christianity? <laughs> I think Jesus. Disgusting! Like, disgusting. Okay. 
I think Judaism is kind of like Trump, like mm. Trump, <laughs> like no, <laughs> like totally. they have Hanukkah, I guess, and like bar mitzvahs, which I don't really understand that, but I mean, they kind of think that Jesus wasn't our savior. They're waiting on their Messiah when we already have one. They just don't accept it. And then, did you just roll your eyes? Hey. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Okay. I feel like the religion of Islam is kind of like something that a drunk guy kind of made up. Because he was like, he left his wife because they were arguing. And then he was like, oh, someone came down, told me something. So I'm going to make this religion. I'm not bashing it. But like... I cannot imagine wearing something that covers me up every single day because I kind of like my hair and I like, you know, yeah. So that's 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 that. Okay, so like Muslims, like I kind of don't understand that because like the whole point of like covering your body up, like I understand some parts, but like your arms and your legs. <laughs> Mia! Good job, Mia. <laughs> Don't worry about it. And this is when Mia ripped her phone case to pieces. So, like, Mia, <laughs> dancing and prancing and jingle bells swearing and juice in the frosty air! Christians. Like, I understand how they think their Messiah has, like, already came. Because, like, he was just kind of a man that gave, like, taught life lessons and everything to everybody. And we just think that our God is kind of, like, I guess waiting until we really need him. So we don't celebrate, like, Christmas and everything where it is y'all do. So, like, Muslims, I really just don't understand. Because I don't understand, like, why they cover, like, every, almost every single part of their body up. And, like, their whole point, like, with the five pillars and everything, that's just kind of a little dumb to me. Next question. Predict what would happen if everyone was in the same religion as you. I feel like there would be fighting over religion more than anything else. Because even though we're all, we would all be Christians, um, we wouldn't all be the same denomination. And a bunch of denominations believe different things. I mean, I feel like it would be a lot less violent than the world is right now, and a bunch of the problems and stuff would be solved, but, like, there would just be fighting over religions and stuff. So, like, if everybody was a Jew and, like, just Jewish, I feel like things would kind of get a little crazy. There would be a lot less violence and everything. Because there wouldn't be, like, fighting in the world about different religions and different belief systems. It would just, like, all be one. So, like, all of our churches and, like, faith and everything would be, like, a whole bunch bigger. The last question is, why do you think the other religions are wrong? So, like, I feel like that God's miracles are real. And, like, you know, there's there's too much evidence to prove that anyone's right except us. That, that's just what I feel. So, yeah. Why do you think other religions are wrong? She doesn't so I think all the other religions are wrong except for mine because you don't just have to, like with Muslims, you don't have to just do the five pillars and bam, you're in heaven. And then like with Christians, you basically are just like, hey, I want to repent against my sins. I want God to be in my heart. And then boom, baptism. Like with us, we do, we just have like, some certain rules or not rules but we follow the ten commandments that way life is easier the religion i pick that i think i want to be is judaism <laughs> i picked judaism because i think that she gave the best evidence and details about her religion and that's why I picked her. So now I'm a Jew. And that was monotheistic religion speed dating. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching.